When your contacts match the triggering conditions you have defined, they will of course enter your automations and proceed through the steps and actions you have determined. However, there might be times when you wish to manually add a contact or contacts to an automation or end their workflow before they reach the last step in the automation. So let's do that in this video. Let's jump directly into the platform and see how to manually start or end an automation for a single contact and how to bulk add or remove a group of contacts to or from an automation. Starting with manually starting or ending an automation for a single contact. Let's go ahead and click contacts, locate the contact we want to add to an automation and then open their profile record. If we scroll down to the automation section of the contacts record, we will see the add button. And then in this model window, we can select the automation we want to add the contact to and then click OK. And this will immediately add our contact to our automation. Now to manually end an automation for a single contact, the process is very similar. Once we have the contact record open, we find the automation we want to remove them from, we click on it and then click end automation at the right top of the model. And as well, this will immediately remove the contact from the automation. Now, if we want to bulk add a group of contacts to an automation, we can run an advanced search and use the bulk editor so we can start an automation for a group of contacts. And to manually start an automation for contacts is to add them to it. So we click on contacts and then we click into the search field and then click advanced search and the segment builder will appear. We create conditions to find a group of contacts that we'd like to add to the automation. Let's say in this example, we want to look for the people that are in the prospects list and that have the tag of event added. So let's add that in the search and then click search. When the contacts appear, we check to make sure it's the right group of contacts and then click edit all to display the bulk editor. Here we can click add to an automation and select the automation we wish to add them to from the drop down that appears. We click add, then apply and our contacts will be immediately added to our automation. And to remove a group of contacts from an automation, we would repeat the same process as before, but in this window model, instead of selecting add to an automation, yes, you get, you guessed correctly, we could click remove from an automation, then select the automation, apply the changes, and then the contacts will be removed from our automation. And just keep in mind that all of these actions that we just performed can't be undone. Thank you for watching and learning a bit more about the platform with me today. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notifications so that we know you are enjoying our videos. Thanks again.